2021 slot number one reading comprehension this reading comprehension passage is about dystopia and utopia this particular passage had four questions 496 words and in fact the flesh can get grade level is 10.4 which means this passage did not have complex sentence structure but what made this passage tough to read a this was taken from a book now it is not that any passage taken from a book is going to be tough but please do understand, book has got multiple pages. An article is short. So any extract from an article will still have a considerable amount of information contained in that article. But when he looks at a look at a book, maybe that book has got about 200, 300 pages, and we are picking up probably close to about 496 words. So this is a small part of a larger conversation. The second issue that happened with this particular passage is there was no context. It started from nowhere. It seems to end at nowhere. There were a lot of edit that was done in between, which actually made this passage very, very difficult to comprehend and to understand what is going on with respect to this particular passage. But therefore, naturally, many students would have struggled while reading this passage because of the lack of context. Let's uh, check out this particular passage here. It says, we cannot travel outside our neighborhood without passports. We must wear the same plain clothes. We must exchange our houses every 10 years. We cannot avoid labor. We all go to bed at the same time. We have religious freedom, but we cannot deny that the soul dies with the body. Sins, but for the fear of punishment, they would have nothing for contempt for the laws and customs of society. It's starting like that. So what you actually see from here to here seems to be certain obligations or rules that we have to follow. So look at the words that is being used here. The, the word is like, we cannot do something. We must do something. We must do something. We cannot do something. We should all do something. We have freedom, but we cannot deny something. So there is seem to be some sort of obligation that exists in the society. And then the second sentence says, in most time, for much of the population, given the plenty and security on offer, such restraints would not have seemed overly unreasonable. Problem number one, who is this more? What is more? What time are we talking about? There is no reference to who this more is, which would have created immediate problem with respect to this particular passage. And I did some research to find out who this more is. Apparently, it turns out there's a gentleman called Sir Thomas More, lived in the 1500s. And he's the one who coined the word dystopia. But I didn't know when I read the passage for the first time. I'm sure that not, none of us knew. Why would I have that information in my life? I have no idea. The second thing is that, <clears throat> whatever the time is, let's take, that there are certain obligations during a particular period of time and whatever be that obligation during most time. It seems that given the plenty and security offer, such restraint would not have seemed overly unreasonable, too negative. And this is when, when people write sentences in the negative, it is often confusing, which is why in most of the cases people write, please always write in affirmative. It becomes very easy to, for the reader to comprehend. This is too negative, double negative, which means what the person is actually trying to say is that if you if cut these two things, it, then you will get the sense of what the past, past sentence is trying to say is that restraint would have seemed fairly reasonable. In most times, the, whatever the obligations or the restraints that is given, this would have been reasonable or fairly reasonable. Sorry about my handwriting, ladies and gentlemen, during most time. For modern readers, however, now you're talking about readers. So what are, what are these people reading? What is going on? Why, why is it called readers? Why, why are we referred to as I'm reading something? Okay. It's not saying modern people, modern society, modern individuals, talk about modern readers. Apparently, we are reading something. What are we reading? I don't know. Our utopia appears to rely upon relentless transparency, the repression of variety, and the curtailment of privacy. Utopia provides security, but at what price? In both the external and internal relationship, it seems that it's perilously dystopian. Now, immediately we are thrown upon 
this word called utopia and dystopia without giving any reference to these two words, which obviously means that as a reader of this particular passage, we need no meaning on these two words. For those of you who probably would have seen a lot of movies would know dystopian societies. So for example, these are movies where something happened to the earth and then the dystopian society, frightening sort of society has happened. Utopia society which everything is perfect. Some society that utopia, that perfect society appears to be very frightening, seems to be very totalitarian. That is what he said. We have, we have a lot of these restrictions, obligations. We must do this. We must not do that. We have to do this. We cannot do that. Which means utopia seems to be for modern readers, for readers of our time, when we look at that particular book, or I don't know, maybe we're reading something, we look at this utopia and go, it looks dystopian. In most time, maybe those time, maybe those utopia was reasonable. For our time, we look at this and going, look, this is frightening. That is probably what the paragraph number one is saying. So in most time, utopia, <clears throat> the restrictions, obligations, as a, in the concept of utopia seems to be reasonable. But when, when our time, modern readers, we look at that and go, it sounds very dystopian. Now let's look at this. Such a conclusion might be fortified by examining selectively the tradition which follow, follows more on these points. So basically saying, why do people have the feeling? So we have to look at the tradition. What does the tradition say? What tradition are we talking about? This often portrays society. Now this is actually talking about portrayal of society. This is actually not talking about real society. This is talking about portrayal of society. What is going on? There's no context. Okay, fair enough. So some portrayal of society is there in terms of the tradition that follows more. What is that? A portrayal of utopia. What is utopia in, 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 in the modern con context? It would be almost impossible for a man to be depraved or wicked. That's what it is. It's perfect. Nobody can do anything wrong. This is achieved both through institutions and mores. What is this mores? Mores are traditions that exist in a society. There are institutions in society which forces the perfectness to happen which underpin the common life. The passions are regulated and inequalities of wealth and distinction are minimized. Needs, vanity and emulation are restrained, often by pricing equality and holding riches in contempt. The desire for public power is curbed. Marriage and sexual interests are often controlled. In Tommaso Campellini is the city of sun, the first great literary utopia after Moors, literary utopia are Moors, which means more also had the literary utopia seems to be a literary tradition of what is utopia. Now, <clears throat> relations are forbidden to men before the age of uh, 2021 and we may be 19. So in modern context, utopia has got a lot of things. Passions are regulated. Everything is being regulated. Distinctions are minimized. Riches are ruled in contempt. Marriages are controlled. Sexual intercourse is controlled. The people are, to, that is, so to create a perfect society, this idea of utopia means that that's what you have to force it on to people. Communal child rearing is normal. For Campanella, this comments as an age of two. Great simplicity of life, living according to nature, is often a result. The desire for simplicity and purity are closely related. Simplicity and purity. People become more alike in appearance, opinion, outlook than they often have been. They all look the same. They all does, does say because everybody is forced to do something. Everybody has to be perfect. That's what utopia is. Unity, order, and homogeneity thus prevail the cost of individuality and diversity. There is no individuality. I cannot decide things for myself. Therefore, if, if, if each people does, does the same thing, there is a lack of diversity. This model, as J.C. Davis demonstrated, dominated early modern utopianism. And utopian homogeneity remains a familiar theme well into the 20th century. So why was it this case? Because of the tradition that exists. Tradition has got rules. Tradition has regulations. Tradition has got institutions, more uh, so the, the, this, this thing which forces people to do certain things, which creates homogeneity. Individuality is cut. Diversity is there, not there. That is a modern utopianism as an idea. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my doodling notes. So this looks very complicated there. Just scribbling things down, ladies and gentlemen. 
given these considerations, it is not unreasonable to take as a starting point here the hypothesis that utopia and dystopia evidently share more in common than is often supposed. Saying that, yes, based on this, it is possible to say that utopia is actually very similar to dystopia. It makes sense. In creation of this perfect society, the idea of creating a perfect society, you tend to force things on people, thereby you actually become totalitarian. And that is a dystopian society. Come on, what is this? Indeed, they might be twins, the progeny of the same parents. They may be outcome of, of the same thought. In so far as this proves to be the case, the linkage of both here will be uncomfortably close to some readers. Yet, author is now saying, wait a minute, but I have to clarify certain things. We should not mistake this argument for the assertion that all utopias tend to produce dystopia. Author is not saying not every single utopia produces dystopia. Not like that. There are certain utopia that does not produce dystopia. What are they? Those who defend this proposition will find that their association here is not cl nearly close enough. For we have only to acknowledge the existence of thousands of successful institutions, intentional communities, intentional communities in which cooperative ethos predominates and where harmony without coercion is a rule set, uh, set as such assertion. There might be a lot of society, some society where the utopia comes out of intentional utopia is based on cooperation, not forced, is intentional. Here, the individual submersion in the group is consensual. This is out of my interest. I want to be the part of this to create the society. So there, there is no force. Through this concept is not unproblematic. It results not in enslavement, but voluntary sub submission to group norms. Harmony is achieved without harming others. That's how harmony is achieved. It's a very difficult passage it's actually the sentence is very short and you can actually see all this edit that is being done here right so you can see this edit there is an edit here there's an edit there there's an edit uh edit a lot of edit has been made and we are thrown into concept without actually giving any context to this We're thrown into con uh, context in this particular passage so in the actual examination point of view it will be very fair to look and read this passage and not understand the passage like how i'm relating it to you. So therefore, it would be sort of a challenge. Obviously, for those students who have been reading a lot of articles on a regular basis, would probably make some sense, would have at some point in time came across ideas like these, not necessarily, but at least we'll have, we'll have what eventually the passage is saying. It's saying the concept of utopia tend to be dystopian because of the obligations or the force that is done to create that kind of a society. But that is does not all, all, always happen. It's not always the case because there could be a intentional communities that is different. That's all. Let's look at the question, ladies and gentlemen, and see what the problem is. Now, the question setter, ladies and gentlemen, have been very evil fellow. His objective was to try and say that not only I'm going to give a passage which somebody will find it very painful, I'm going to create options, questions. Look at the question. All of the following passage arguments are made in the passage, except, so which means everything from everywhere in the passage. The following statement can infer the passage except from everywhere in the passage. For following from following from the passage, which, which of the followings may be seen as a character of utopian society from everywhere from the passage. Which are the only sensible question, if I can, I, sensible is a bad word to use. Here, at least a structure is there. So, so if such a question would have come, one, one have to be smart enough to look at, okay, if, if some questions, there is a pick me, but the option says, right, or you can do easy, easy ditch me, or if you can eliminate or select an answer, I will mark these kind of questions. Otherwise, the best decision to make is to leave some of these questions. But please do understand, the questions are not difficult. It's not like these questions are difficult. It's the options what makes your life difficult. On top of the fact that this particular passage, the understanding that somebody would have taken out of this particular passage would be very limited as well. So let's look at this and see whether this was fine. All of the arguments are made in the passage except. So we're looking at an argument that is not made in the passage. Let's look at the first one. There have been thousands of communities where homogeneity and stability have been achieved through choice rather than by force. 
which is mentioned exists in thousands of successful community which is which are intentional community which is through consensual that is know that that is, that is by choice so this is something that is argument that is made so we can eliminate as a choice number one so this is very pretty sort of easy ditch okay in early modern utopianism the stability of utopian society were seemed to be achieved only with individuals surrendering their self now the word only might have created a problem in the sense people are saying that this is extreme but please do understand this is seen to be achieved okay so that is not so people tend to see tend to believe in, in early modern utopianism the idea of you, you modern utopian utopianism this one this model dominated okay that model is everything as a cost of individuality and diversity which means <clears throat> it is seen it is seen to be achieved stability of it is seen to be achieved with individuals surrendering their sense of self there is no identity there is no individuality there is no diversity that is something that we can understand from here difficult to pick but definitely made something argument that is made in the particular passage therefore eliminate in most time there were plenty and security so people did not need restraints people did not need restraints So look at this. What has happened in this particular question is this: in most time, for much of the population, plenty and security an offer. So that part is fine. Plenty and security was was an offer. But the next part says that would not have seemed unreasonable. So if I cut this, would have seemed reasonable. So in most time, restraints were reasonable. So to say that people did not need restraints is something that is. kind of against what is mentioned in the passage making it an argument that is not made in the passage making a lady gentleman our answer choice because that one says except <clears throat> this is probably an answer choice which would have created problem for many talks about tradition of utopian literature where is literature we talking about great literary utopian after more so more is also literature we are talking about modern readers there is mentioned somewhere here is mentioned modern readers so from here after more so more also had literature on this concept so it means in the tradition therefore is actually a literary lit, lit, tradition of utopian literature which is very difficult to ascertain so you had to look at this word and understand this is actually the tradition of literature not actual societies actual utopian societies these are how they are portrayed our societies are portrayed how society is portrayed in the literature here in the stories what is utopian society looks very dystopian as often so society which is would be nearly impossible for anyone to be sinful and criminal we going that where is it mentioned but if you actually read this particular sentence here it would be almost impossible for a man to be depraved or wicked what is depraved sinful and criminal depraved and wicked argument made as choice that is that can eliminate it that's why i said that this question is it is evil i know that in the pressure of the examination and given the fact that the passage is given in this particular fashion even even though three is is our answer it could be very possible that some of you would have got confused with answer choice number 4 take this question this is our question setter is next level evil next level next level all of the passage can be inferred inferred will be something that is revealed or true based on the information that is given in the passage and except which means something that cannot be inferred something that is not true based on the information given in the passage that is a choice is for and for makes sense because if we look at this utopian and dystopian society are twins are twins are twins look at what is mentioned in the passage might be twins from might is that's a possibility you cannot then say they are this is extreme a definitive statement which is not something the passage has taken the author has said they might be twins but the problem is this in this this was easy to pick so this was this was not difficult but you had options like these utopian society exists in a long tradition of literature dealing with imaginary people practicing imaginary custom imaginary world you like wait 
this and this is not the answer this can be inferred imaginary custom in imaginary worlds so for for us to infer this okay we have to take a lot of steps they have often portray society this often portray society what is protein society this tradition that follow more what is more tradition great literary utopia after more so more is also a literary tradition all these are talking about society which are imagined so utopian society exist in a long tradition of what has been portrayed in this literary uh, utopia so obviously that would mean it will be imaginary people practice an imaginary custom in imaginary world these are all imagined or portrayed in the literature difficult me check this is like you're looking at the question set of you almost going what 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 this what you are becoming a complete despotian despotian question set give me some utopian question please what is this frightening questions look at this for for instance answer choice number 2 it is possible to see utopias as dystopias with a change of perspective because one person's utopia could be another's dystopia so well, look at this one please understand in most time it was reasonable but for us it is unreasonable so in most time that was utopia but in our time it is dystopia the so one person's utopia the most time utopia could be seen as another person's dystopia our modern readers dystopia in fact many concepts of utopian society emphasize the importance of social uniformity and cultural homogeneity this is fine so this is many forms of this is fine this is this can be eliminated pretty easily because this is clearly inferred so you have a huge issue i'm guessing many would have actually looked at this particular choice and picked this because while reading this it is very difficult to check this one out difficult because this one you're almost going you're looking at these words and going oh, look imaginary 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 therefore that should be the answer but unfortunately all these are imagined but how but the, the best thing to do with this particular question is to ditch it ditch the question and move to the next one would have been the best thing to do but i doubt it many people would have actually felt like marking answer choice number 3 okay let's look at this from the passage which on the following may be seen as a characteristic of utopian society a society where public power is earned through merit what 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 there is merit and privilege issue institutional survive a surveillance of every individual to ensure his security and welfare every single individual possible possible uh, regulation of homogeneity through promoting competitive heterogeneity this is not the case there is no heterogeneity heterogeneity means diversity so they do not promote diversity for sure this you can eliminate a society without any laws to restrain without any laws but there are laws which means but for initial initial when you look at these are uh, ones you actually see that everything has got a uh, problematic one but you can do this ditch me and the question say which of the following may be seen as a characteristic institutional surveillance of every individual to ensure his or her security and welfare institutional surveillance may happen achieved by through institutions Im important to be depraved welfare as a concept is important societal welfare that's what that's what it is so in this case answer choice is two another ladies and gentlemen we have another evil question setter again i don't know what this question setter was thinking maybe saying that who are writes the reading comprehend this particular passage one question setter in every slot i think the same person created question one one passage in every single slot but like this in 2021 that ladies and gentlemen is uh, the story there is no public power is earned to merit meritorious people are given power not mentioned heterogeneity is promoted not mentioned without any loss but this is sort of easy ditch me 
if you do the ditch me principle you'll probably pick this one up otherwise it's very difficult to sort of look at every individual to ensure their security welfare seems to be the case actually through institutions it is impossible to man to be depraved and wicked and then said uh, it said inequalities of wealth and distinction minimize needs vanity emulation disdain offering rich in contempt desire for power desire for public power is curbed as public power is curbed then he saying public power is earned that doesn't make any sense and then is then talks about communal is normal as a result the desire for simplicity purity are closely related and all the things but what about what about the whole idea of security and welfare that's that's what that's what is mentioned here even it's mentioned here given plenty uh, of security on offer so, so you have this society this uh, utopian society wants to have welfare and security for its people through institutional power so this is something that may be seen as the characteristics as choice number 2 which of the following best captures the narrative of the passage probably the easiest question first is utopia perfect talks about security and talks about creating homogeneity and the last one is talks about intentional community which makes sense relentless transparency this is picked up one word here i think somewhere here relent one word that but that's not the key word homogeneity utopia dystopia there is no dystopia mentioned here there is nothing about dystopia mentioned here utopia security dystopia coercion is not ending with coercion it's ending with consensual or intentional community curtailment of privacy dystopia utopia it doesn't go from dystopia to utopia so i i don't think there is any too much of discussion on dystopia at least in this particular passage it merely say that utopia looks like dystopia and maybe author in the in the subsequent uh, paragraph may discuss more about the second one maybe chenna there you have it this is a strange as it goes this is the solution to this particular passage cat 2021 slot 1 reading comprehension this passage is about t this passage had four questions five and one words actually this passage flesh in their grade level is 15.2 so many of us would have actually felt this passage more comfortable than some of the other passages in cat 2021 slot 1 because of the subject Now we are comfortable. We understand T. We don't understand dystopian society and utopian societies, but we understand T. So even though this was sort of much more dense than other passages, you would have felt more comfortable reading this particular passage. This was taken from the Financial Times. This was, I think, in my memory, this was the first time Cat has used Financial Times as a source. Uh, a love of T, ladies and gentlemen. We all love T. I love T. let's see what this passage is all about the slights of hand that conflate conception with the virtue are a central theme in a thirst for empire a sweeping and richly detailed history of tea by the historian erica rapoport so actually that is one sentence that's a long sentence which is why that grade level is slightly high so slights of hands that conflate conception with virtue we have got conflate is something that joins consumption with virtue consumption plus virtue that is what we can find in tea there is a virtue aspect of tea some morality aspect of tea a value of tea and also money aspect of tea so this is from a book so this is a book review how did tea evolve from obscure china drink to universal beverage imbued with civilizing properties and these days somebody can write about something else that was became universal start in china for the bad reason the china virus people are, you can't say it i think i think a lot of people don't call it as china virus i don't know why we can, can call it anything but china gave us virus china once upon a time also gave us tea, tea so maybe we should be thankful i don't know so how did how did tea became this awesome stuff the answer in brief revolve around this conflation not only by profit motivated marketers but a wide variety of interest groups so it was profit plus a lot of interest that what created this tea a lot of interest group where while adam abinder historical records have allowed the study of how tea itself moved from east to west rapport is focused on the moment of the idea of tea to suit particular purposes so idea of tea 
to suit particular purposes. That is the focus of this particular her book. The idea of tea that create the idea of what is tea. Beginning in the 1700s, the temperance movement advocated for tea as a pleasure that cheered but did not inebriate. Now, now this word, the temperance movement. I don't know how many of you actually know the meaning of the word temperance movement. I also didn't know much. Then I actually had to do Google. What is a temperance movement? You know what I found out? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Temperance. Abst abstinence from alcoholic drink. Something that I don't do. Some people do it. So next time, if you're someone who does not like alcohol, I am a part of the temperance movement. No alcohol. So the temperance movement, the people who are sort of anti-alcohol, advocate the idea of tea as a pleasure that did not inebriate, that did not make you... And industrialists soon borrowed this moral judgment in advancing their case for free trade in tea. So they then free trade in tea and hence more open markets for, for their textiles. Factory owners joined in and cumbled by the cost of sober workforce while Christian missionaries discovered that tea would soothe any colonial encounter. During the Second World War, tea service was presented as a social and patriotic activity that uplifted so soldiers and calm refugees. This is giving a lot of and it's about what was the quality of tea, how tea was a lot of things, not just taste, not just money. It was something that can, you can drink without getting drunk. It, it made a case of free trade. Factory owners joined in. Christian and missionary did it. It was patriotic. So tea has got a lot of these values. That is what is the virtue that is mentioned here. But it was a tea consumer directed marketing by importers and retailers and later by brands that most closely pretends current trade debates. Consumer directed marketing and later by brands. An early version of farm to table movement was marked by anti Chinese sentiment and concerns over trade deficit, as well as by reality and threat of adulterated tea containing dirt and hedge clipping. Lipton was soon advertising from the garden to tea cup. Supply chain originated in British India and supervised by educated Englishmen. We are going to create some un amazing tea, not the China tea. We'll create our own amazing tea. That was a market consumer directed marketing act with tea. While tea marketing always presented direct consumer benefit, health, energy, relaxation, tea drinkers were also assured that they were participating in a larger noble project that advanced the cost of family, nation, and civilization. This is all talk about what happened. Marketing happened. Marketing habit. Adding a lot of values, telling the people that when you drink tea, you're not drinking tea, but you're drinking something more. Rappaport's treatment of a subject is refreshingly apolitical. First of all, author is like, like nice, nice book. Nice book. I like it. I like this book. Indeed, it is a virtue that readers will be able to guess her political orientation. Both the miracle of markets and capitalism's dark underbelly are evident in T's complex story, as are with complicated effects of British colonialism. Commodity histories are now themselves commodity. Recent works investigate cotton, salt, cord, sugar, chocolate, paper, and milk. And morality marketing is now a commodity as well, applied to food, fair trade, apparel, and ecotourism. Yet, T is, Rappaport makes clear, a world apart. Saying that whatever is sort of idea behind the tea uh, in terms of capitalism and, and the British colonialism aspect of the tea, it became a commodity, all that. But tea is class apart, word apart. Why? An astonishing success story in which tea marketers not only succeeded in conveying a sense of moral level elevation to the consumer, but also arguably did advance the cause of civilization and community. So tea was that more moral plus community. That was what tea was. That was marketeer. That's what marketeer did. So ladies and gentlemen, when you're having a cup of tea, you're not drinking tea. You're drinking something more. I've been offered tea at the British garden party, uh, the dawn campfire, a Turkish carpet shop, and Japanese chashistu, to name a few settings. In each of these offering was more than a tea. Friendship, community, respect. That a drink, and in each case, the idea that created a reality. 
it is not a stretch to say that tea market tears have advanced a particularly noble cause of human dialogue and friendship. So this is what the passage uh, repeats a lot of idea. Therefore, by the time you actually read this particular passage, you understand what the passage is trying to tell you. Tea success is, 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 is about this idea, consumption plus virtue. The, what started in 1700s, it, it has got a lot of impact. A temperance movement, free trade, open market, owner joining in, Christian missionaries. And it's about marketing the tree, saying that it is a noble project. Elevation. So for not only the sense of moral elevation, for a noble cause. So that's the So ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the question and see whether we can nail these questions. The author of this, uh, the author of this book review is least likely to support the view. So basically we have to go against so what the author has not mentioned. Tea drinking was sometimes promoted as a patriotic duty. Absolutely mentioned. I think somewhere here, patriotic activity done, eliminate. Least likely, right? Tea drinking has become a social ritual worldwide. Yes, it has become. The tea drinking promotes congeniality and camaraderie. Mentioned dialogue, friendship. Therefore, four. Tea became the leading drink in Britain in the 19th century. Where? Not mentioned anywhere in the passage. I don't even see reading 19th century anywhere. Whether it became leading drink, it is not mentioned in the passage. An easy question. I'm sure that we can nail this one. Let's look at the next one. This book argues that according to Rappaport, trees unlike, unlike other morality products because here, world apart, had actual beneficial effect on social interaction, society in general, advance the cause of civilization and community. Therefore, this is clean. So social interaction, society in general. Others are easy eliminations. I think you can easily do ditch knees and answer choice one, three, and four. Appeal to a universal group and not just a knee section. Where, where is the universal group? Is that the sense that you get here? No. The appeal that is wrong was marketed by Viber interest. That is true. That is true. But the question is very specifically how did it become unlike other morality products? So you want to look at answer choice here. So this is actually mentioned in the passage, but does not answer the question. What actively increased the interest group in the uh, in, interest group in the government? What government? So it, this answer choice is sort of easy to pick so long as you understand specifically what the question is asking. And that is from this particular part. So all the wrong answer choices were picked from other part of the uh, passage, which does not actually answer the question. Question number three. Today, conflating consumption with virtue can be seen in the marketing of. You, have, you need to have virtue plus consumption, which means it has to give a value which improves society. So we are looking at answer choice, which has got something that attaches value to society. Sustainably farmed foods, something that is done sustainably has his a virtue. It's a value, not just for the food, for the consumption, but also something outside of that activity of having those foods. It is for the environment that is going to impact society. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, this is a good answer choice. Travel to pristine destination. Where is the, where is the virtue aspect here? Ergonomically designed product, for example, my chair, it is ergonomically designed, but it is actually not helping society, it's helping me. Natural health supplement, where is the impact on virtue? The virtue aspect of it, ladies and gentlemen, is only in this particular word, sustainably. That's the key thing. And the choice, ladies and gentlemen, is answer choice number one. According to the book review, a thirst for empire stay says that the addition of profit motivated market here, tree drinking was promoted in Britain. All of them here, right? Tree drinking was promoted in Britain by all of the following except uh, factories to, to instill so sobriety in the labor. Dun, dun, dun. Factory joined in for the cause of a sober workforce. Done. Eliminate. We're looking at except. The anti alcohol lobby. I think this is something that people would not have picked because the, the temperance movement is the anti alcohol lobby. Okay, so you have. That is the whole thing. Substitute for the consumption of liquor. So this whole statement is based on this temp temperance movement. And I'm sure 
that some of you would have marked this answer choice. I would have probably marked that one because, uh, because we need to understand what temperance means. If, if you understood what temperance means, this is something that is actually mentioned in the, uh, if, uh, in the passage. Trading, tree dingers lobbying for product diversity. Mention the people who ding tree. I mean, we need something more. We need something different. I, I don't. I don't want to drink this. I've been drinking this. What is it? Coffee. I've been drinking coffee. Where is coffee? Can we see coffee? I think there is some coffee written. I, I want tiki. I want diversity. I want. I'm drinking. No, not mentioned. Manufacturers who were pressing for duty free imports, which is mentioned free uh, trade areas. Which is mentioned duty free. Is duty free mentioned? I, somewhere is mentioned. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. I'll pick it up. Free trade. So free trade obviously would mean duty free stuff, no? It's free. Trade is free. You can freely trade it. So that makes sense. Open market. Yeah, that's probably it. Tea drinkers lobbying for product diversity. They want a diverse product is not mentioned. So answer choice in this case is three. I hope this makes sense. Okay, boy. Cat 2021, slot one reading comprehension. This is our classic Maya about personhood and human beings. It's taken from my own essays. Yeah. Four questions, 419 words, 13.3 uh, grade level, which means it is slightly dense. It could have been slightly problematic because, of course, uh, the topic that is under discussion could be a slight problem. But I think that if you are, if you've done a careful reading, this was easy. But of course, uh, some of the questions were kind of confusing. One had to really understand the question. And then the options were created by, again, a very evil question setter. Let's put it that way. An evil question setter is in. Ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the passage. Three paragraph, tense, likely. For the Maya of the classic period, who lived in the southern Mexico and Central America between 250 and 900 CE, the category of persons was not coincident with human beings as it for us. So this talks about Maya. Who is a person? Person is not necessarily humans. Non-humans can also be persons. For us, human being and persons, we don't consider, for example, this mobile phone to be a person. We don't consider this mic to be a person, not this to be a person. What does personhood mean? What do you call someone a person? But for Maya, not only humans, other things were also persons. That is, human being were persons, human being were persons, but other non-human entities could be persons too. So that's what it is. Non-humans could also be persons. Interesting. In order to explore the slippages of categories between human and persons, I examined a very specific category of ancient Maya images found painted in scenes and ceramic vessels. So the author has looked at, I've taken ceramic vessel, I looked at the painting there, and can I see some sort of a personhood being associated with non-human entities? I sought out instances in which faces, some combination of eye, nose, and mouth, are shown in inanimate object. So maybe, for example, I have got a cell phone which has got a face. So the cell phone is regarded as a person. Maybe. That's what. So he's looking at images. Uh, the author is looking at images and she's trying to make sense as to how the Maya classic used non-human entities to call and given the attribute of personhood to them as well. Consider my iPhone, which needs to be fed with electricity every night swaddled in protective number and enjoys communicating with other fellow uh, phone beings. Does it have personhood, if at all, because it is connected to me, drawing this resource from me, and as an owner, 
So I I use I this communicates this mobile phone communicate other mobile phone. But can I call it person? For the Maya who did have plenty of other communicated this the object, if not smartphone, the answer was a no. So that is interesting. Non-human persons were not referred to specific humans, and they did not derive the personhood from a connection with human. Just because something is connected with a human being, that does not mean that it is hot personhood. It needed something more. It is profoundly democratizing way of understanding this world. Humans are no more important persons. We are just many kinds of persons who inhabit this world. So, author here left with this one small idea. In terms of how does the Maya associate personhood, it is not mere connection. Just because X is connected to humans, there is just connection that does not in itself make it a person. There needs to be something more. What is that? I think that is being explained here. What makes some something a person? So just because it is uh, did not derive personhood from a connection with human. Just because something connected to him is not a person. But what is a personhood for Maya? The Maya so personhood are activated by experiencing certain bodily needs and through participation in certain social activity. One is there has to be a need, plus there has to be a participation in social activity. These two are needed. For example, now example is given, which will be interesting, and we'll be able to understand what the, the author is trying to say. Among the faced objects that I examined, Persons are marked by personal requirements such as hunger, tiredness, physical. Uh, so there are personal requirements, which is the need. So one is that particular thing, whatever that item is, has got a personal requirement. I am using it for a personal purpose. For example, iPhone, I'm using it for a personal purpose. Burn and by community obligations. So plus that must also have a community obligation. My iPhone does not have any community obligation, which is why it is not a personal. So communication, interaction, ritual observant. In the images, images I examine, we see, for instance, face object being cradled in human arms. We also speak, see them speaking to humans. These core element of personhood are both turned inward, what the body or self as a person requires, and outward, what a community expects of the persons who are part of it. Underline the reciprocal nature of community membership. So it's about whatever is the thing has got two elements to it. I have a personal need, but there is also a community aspect of it. That's what creates personhood when it comes to the Maya. I think trying to understand this paragraph number two would be sort of essence here. Once you basically get the crux of what is mentioned here, then probably the rest of the things should be fine. Is that's what is being said? The core elements, personal turn inward. What body or self or the person require what I need. And outward, what community expects of the person? What does the community want of the person? The social thing. These two things put together is what creates a personhood. Right. Personhood was a non-binary proposition. It is not just two things. Non-binary. Binary is two. There are more than two. Entities were able to be persons while also being something else. There could be both persons plus something else as well. The faced object I looked at indicate they continue to be functional, doing what the object do. A stone implement continues to chop and incense burner continue to do its smoky work. Furthermore, the Maya visually depicted many objects in the way that indicated the material category to which they belong. Drawings of the stone implement show the, that a person tool is still made of stone. So that it is basically saying that this, whatever is an idea. So we have got Stone implement, I don't know what that implement, let's take that implement, some stone implement. This has got a function, plus this is also a person. So the functional element is also depicted, the person aspect is also depicted, the value that it has for the society. One additional complexity, the incense burner, which could have been made of clay and decorated with spiky appliques, representing the sacred seva tree found in the person, is categorized as a person, but also as a tree. It is a person, but also tree. We have incense burner, is made of clay, <coughs> decorated representing some tree. So it is both tree. It is, it is a burner, which has a function. It is a person, 
but also a tree. With these my examples, we are challenged to discard the person non person binary that constitute a basic ontological outlook. The porousness of boundaries that we have seen in Maya world points toward the possibility of living with a certain uncategorizably of or controls of the world. Can you categorize anything in this world as a person? So this is sort of a little complicated to understand this concept, uh, understanding what persons and human is. So our understanding of what person is the human being, this is kind of challenging our understanding of person. So what we understand is that for Maya, classic Maya, non-humans can also be person. For that non-human to be a person, there has to be a functional need, but also a social community membership that it has. It has got that whole thing. So that creates that, that that's the idea of person only. And this non-binary that if you could stone can uh, incense burner is still an incense burner, but also a person. It is not like so something is a person and non-person is it's things can be together. It's not binary. It is not this or that. It can be both. It has got a function that it plays, but also has a societal value to them or the community value to them, which also makes it a person. And therefore, so this is what the passage is saying. Let's look at the questions, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start with the question number one. Which of the following, if true, would not undermine the democratizing potential of the classic Maya world, world view? We're looking at democratizing, will, 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 will not undermine, which means everything else will undermine. There is one thing that will not undermine. So what we understand from the democratic way of personhood for Maya is this two function that it has, uh, which is which is one is it has got its function need. It also has got the societal sort of uh, community membership and it, it is non-binary. It can be both. They believe that like cats and dogs that live in proximity to human have a more clearly articulated personhood. So this means a proximity to human. Just because they're connected closer to human, that means connection to human is personhood. That is not just because something is nearly connected to human, does not give it extra personhood. This, this is not something that obviously this undermines. We are looking at something that does not undermine. They understood the stone implement and the incense burners purely human form, purely human more undermines the idea or that it, 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 so it's, it's, it's purely something. No, it's just that it, that is binary. It is only human form. No, it has got both value, functional as well as person. They depicted their human healers with physical attributes of local medicinal plant. It is very interesting. Human healers have been given a physical attribute of a local medicinal plants. Physical attribute, which means it's, 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 it's like saying that human beings are also a person, but also a plant. That is a non-binary proposition. That's interesting. So it, it's also mentioned somewhere here, right? Um, do, 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 wait a minute, I'll see. Somewhere it's mentioned. I'm just checking. Uh, we shall discard the person non person binary that consider basic ontological this is non person uh, binary, person non person uh, uh, binary. We, we go, there, is a, there, is a, there is non binary. A person can be, a, a human can also be a non, non person which is what is given here. This does not undermine. While they believed in the personhood of object animals, they did not believe in the personhood reverse and object and plant. They don't believe the person was something else. That contradicts it, the whole thing. So ladies and gentlemen, answer to this one is three. So I think this was, I think the one that they did not believe the personhood reverse in animals, that undermines. Purely human form undermines. Proximity creates but personhood is a problematic. Answer choice. This one is clean. They depicted human healers with physical attribute of local medicinal plants. So human healers that given attribute of a plant. So that talks about the uh, discarding of the person, non-person binary, ladies and gentlemen. And the choice would be three. Humans are no more important person 
they are just one of the many kind of person who manage this world that is so good many kind of person and the choice is three which of the following best explain the additional prox complexity that the example of the incense burner illust uh, uh, illustrated regarding the person who the classic maya which is here additional complexity is with the incense burner incense burner continue to do its smoky work which means in incense burner has got a function okay uh, it is made of clay and decorated with uh, uh, speaky applicants representing a sacred tree is carried as a person but also as a tree it is got a work it is got two and also the third part okay the example provides an exception of the non binary understanding it is not an exception of the non binary it is a non binary understanding it is, it is still non by non binary it is not one or the other it is in fact three so this is definitely not the answer the example adds a new layer of the non binary understanding perfect of personhood by bringing in a third category that shares a similar relation with the previous two so there's a new thing that is god as what is the previous two one smoky work and a person right so so that what is the relationship that other two things have that something has got a function plus it is it is also a person function and it's also a person it is it is it it depicts something which is it also becomes a tree but is also a person so it 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 actually has a similar relationship with the previous two this makes sense i think this would be slightly a very painful question to look at is the relationship similar with the previous one one it has got its function which is got its need and the second one it has got a social this one so look at this this talks about the fact that representing a sacred tree found in this region this representing it represents a sacred tree it is representing another thing another aspect so so whatever is is uh the sacredness i believe would be something that uh, would ward the, uh, the 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 community the membership of it the sacredness that is had and that is associated that is gone that tree therefore in, in that sense the relationship is by and large similar in terms of community membership the the functionality that it has therefore it is a similar relationship with our previous two this makes sense the example adds a new layer of the non binary understood person by bringing a third category that uh, shares a dissimilar uh, relation between the previous two which means this is something else randomly thought of is not random because still a sacred tree that is association that's why they call it a tree it is not a dissimilar relationship it's the same relationship that the community membership is actually creating that 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 idea of personhood right in that sense the example complicates complicates the non binary understanding where it's saying it's complicated okay additional complexity but it has got a complexity but will it complicate the thing question number 1 understanding personhood by bringing in the sacred establishing the porosity of the divine and the profane Why there is profane? The profane is like ee, ee, ee. rotten word. I'm sure that some of you would want to mark answer choice number four. The reason why answer choice number four sounds very wise. This happens sometimes. Look at answer choice. I like it. I I I really want to mark it. This looks very awesome. I, I, I want to mark it. Really? Yeah, I want to mark it. That would have happened. And the problem would be to look at whether there is a relation which is similar between the previous two. person plus a function a, a category person and also a tree that's also in terms of that uh, attribute that it has the essence that it has so in that sense i could say it's in relation it's sort of a i i would i would recognize this question as pretty tough and i know that if in the examination very likely that okay uh, we well left we well left this is going to be very complicated one that's what i said we have an evil question set of ladies and gentlemen the question center really wants to pain us here with this question what makes the uh, question difficult is not the question is merely the options right the way these options are created is what makes life tough on the basis of the passage which of the following world views can be inferred to be closest that to the classic maya closest to the classic maya what is classic maya views simple one functional need 
plus societal value, a community value. A tribe that perceives plant as person plants because they form an ecosystem. That is, that is, it 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 sends gives a community value, and are marked by the needs of nutrition functionally, a functional need plus a part of the ecosystem creates the personhood. Therefore, these two are there in answer choice number four. And if you understand, I, I think understanding this basic crux here is basically answering the question. That will help you answer this question. There's a functional need and the community value, personhood. Same thing. I, I think that this was also pretty similar. Functional need and a community value to it. And non-binary thing. These are basically two ideas. If you get catch, you can answer those questions. Look at other, other answer choices. A tribe that perceives a utensil as person utensil in the light of their functionality and bodily needs. It only has needs. But where is the community community membership? Not there. A person tried to perceive hunting weapons as sacred person because their significance to the survival. Only community need. What is the function? A future society that perceives ro robots to be person as well as robot because their similarity to humans. Just because it looks the same? No. There is no community membership to it. This has both. This has got Lady Gentleman, a functional need and a community angle to it. Answer choice is answer choice number four. Understanding this question itself would have been slightly painful, but let's understand the question. Which of the following, if true, about the classic Maya would invalidate the purpose of iPhone example in the passage? So let's, let's first understand what was the purpose? Why was the iPhone passage uh, purpose of the iPhone passage? The purpose of the iPhone has to say that is that non-human person were not referred to specific humans and they did not derive the personhood from a connection with the human. Okay, that is the purpose. The purpose is say that the non-human person were not referred to specific humans. It's not, it, it, it is basically just because that that item is connected to a human does not give the personhood to that particular item. So just because there's a connection between them does not give. That is a purpose. Now we are looking at something that will invalidate that purpose. Something that says this purpose is, this idea is wrong. So we have to attack, go against uh, so sort of understanding of classic Maya, which means the classic, uh, classic Maya's purpose is functionality plus community need. That is what the purpose of the example is. The idea of personhood is this. You want to look at an answer choice, which kind of negates this which you can actually see in answer choice number four. The personhood of incense burner and the stone chopper was a function of the usefulness to humans. If that is true, it completely invalidates the reason, the purpose of giving an example of iPhone. I think the issue would be trying to understand what the question is saying. The, the iPhone example had a purpose. What was the purpose? to eventually say that classic Maya's personhood is about functionality plus community. Okay, now he's saying invalidating that purpose, which means you are attack the purpose, which, which means you're looking at as a choice, which says that functionality plus this is not needed for personhood, which is exactly what this one is saying. The personhood of incense burner and stone chopper was a function of their usefulness to human. That, that just be a usefulness, that is just function, only function that invalidates the purpose of giving the example of iPhone. So that, so I don't think the question is not saying which one of the following will replace the iPhone example. That's not what is being mentioned. Which of the following invalid the purpose of iPhone example. The question is not asking us to replace the iPhone example, but the purpose of the purpose of iPhone example is to give that idea that a person who is both functional need plus community. And this only says functional need. Therefore, that is answer. I hope I'm making sense to you. Once you just understand the question again, it's both functional and that those that one idea, that one idea if you crack on this particular passage, the three answers are there. The clay incense burner with spiky appliques was categorized only as a person and not as a tree by classic Maya. Only as a person, but not as a tree. Okay, this, this still does not attack, but it's still classified as a person. Merely by saying that it is not categorized by the tree. Three is the third category. 
please understand is also a third category that is an additional complexity if you remove the additional complexity but it still doesn't invalidate the whole idea because it's still a person classic maya songs represents both humans and non living objects as characters talking and interacting with each other maya songs represent both humans this actually supports it doesn't invalidate unlike modern society equipped with mobile phones the classic maya did not have any communicative device so what he saying the read up plenty of other communicative device even if this is true it does not attack the outcome of that example this is casting doubt on that thing that is mentioned in the passage but what is the purpose of the iphone example not to say that there are a lot of communicative device the purpose is to say that look in classic maya function plus the 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 community membership creates the person mark and the choice fourth actually attacks that idea i hope this made sense hello let's look at the solution to the cat 2021 slot 1 reading comprehension this passage is about cuttlefish some data about the passage four questions 509 words the flesh kinkade grade level all students of career launcher would know this this uh, grade level is gives you a sense of how dense the passage is it is calculated using this formula you can pause the video and check the formula this is uh, this passage has 10.7 so that is a fairly easy read so this is taken from spitsonian magazine which is very surprising to see actually very refreshing to see in tag 2020 they they didn't they picked up lot of passages from books and journals spitsonian magazine used to be uh, a favorite passage of the of the i am back in 2016 2017 2018 so it's good to see spitsonian magazine having a comeback Let's look at what the passage is saying. This passage has got one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. So let's start with this. Cuttlefish are full of personality, as behavioral ecologist Alexandra Chenel found out while researching the cephalopods' potential to display self-control. Self-control is thought to be the cornerstone of intelligence, as it is an important prerequisite for complex decision making and planning for the future. Says Chenel. So the first paragraph gives us the context. We are discussing about cuttlefish, and they are actually full of responsibilities. What somebody actually found, and that specific context is to look at self-control because apparently self-control is the cornerstone of intelligence. So the first passage talks about cuttlefish having self-control, and that is a source of intelligence, decision making, and so on and so forth. Probably we should ask cuttlefish to write the Zat. Yes, I will write the Zat. I will do well because I am good in decision making. Let's see what is going on in paragraph number two. Shell study used a modified version of the marshmallow test. During the original marshmallow test, psychologist Walter Mitchell presented children between age four and six with one marshmallow. He told them that if they waited fifteen minutes and didn't eat it, he would give them a second marshmallow. A long-term follow-up study showed that the children who waited for the second marshmallow had more success later in life. So here, this talks about the study that is conducted to arrive at that particular conclusion. So it uses, for example, uses a marshmallow test, and that test is being explained. And a different version of the marshmallow test, the cuttlefish version of marshmallow experiment, looked a lot different. The researchers worked with six cuttlefish. Under nine months old, and presented them with seafood instead of sweets. Preliminary experiments show that cuttlefish' favorite food is live grass stem. So they they love the live grass stem. That's their favorite. That is their number one food. While raw prawns are so and so so raw prawns, so 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 so. An Asian shore crab is nearly unacceptable. Asian shore uh, crab is not acceptable. It's okay, okay. This is what they really love. Since the researchers couldn't explain to the cuttlefish that they would need to wait for their shrimp, they trained them to recognize certain shapes that indicated when a food item would be available. Of course, you can talk to the kids, but you can't talk to the cuttlefish. Cuttlefish eat the food. Oh, you need to do something else. Then they created some symbols. And the symbols were pasted on a transparent drawer so that the cuttlefish could see the food that was stored inside. One drawer. label with the circle mean immediate which had raw king prawn so we had circle which had raw uh, that is immediate in that cell it is there one draw okay uh, another draw label triangle meant delayed 
which held lime grass hemp. So triangle is what is delayed. So if you wait, they'll hand like that. You almost think this is like a squid game. They're playing squid game with cuttlefish. What is this? Triangle, circle, and we have a square. That means never. Poor cuttlefish. All the cuttlefish may die. Who knows? Joking. Joking. Cuttlefish are cute. So, fair enough. So this is how the study. Now I'm sure that this talks about the finding of the study. That's a structure probably. If, the, if their self-control is flexible, and I had, hadn't just trained them to wait in any context, you would expect the cuttlefish to take the immediate reward in control, even if there is second preference, which means if they don't know that if you wait for some time, you can get a better food, they will probably eat it because cuttlefish won't know. That's what they did. That showed the researchers that the cuttlefish wouldn't reject the prawns if that was only food available. So if prawns is there, that's only food they will eat it. But the experimental trials, the cuttlefish didn't jump on the prawns if the live graph shrimp were labeled with the triangle. Many waited for the shrimp drawer to open up. So a lot of cuttles, uh, uh, cuttlefish waited for the shrimp drawer to open up. If they're aware that they're going to get the reward, they wait. So they have self-control. They're intelligent. The longer uh, each time the cuttlefish showed it could wait, the researchers stacked another 10 seconds on the next round of waiting before the release of the shrimp. The longest that the cuttlefish waited were 130 seconds. So they kept on adding, adding, adding. They waited till 130 seconds. That's a long time. So what is the finding telling us? Chanel says the cuttlefish usually sat at the bottom of the tank and looked at the two food items while they waited. But sometimes they would turn away from the king prawn as to distract themselves from the temptation of the immediate reward. In past studies, humans, chimpanzees, parrots, and dogs also try to distract themselves from waiting for the reward. I don't want to get distracted. I want to wait for the reward. If I keep seeing the uh, red prawn, I may want to eat it. Cuttlefish like, no, I'm not going to look at it. I will not look at the cuttlefish. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. No, no, no. I want to eat this. Not every species can use self-control. But most animals that can share another trait in common, long social lives. That means that there are a lot of species self-control is correlated with their social lives. Cuttlefish, on the other hand, are solitary creatures. That's crazy. That they don't form relationship even with mates or young. We don't know if living in social group is important for complex cognition unless we also show those abilities are lacking in less social species. So there are something that we don't know. The linkages between social group and complex cognition. We need to do a little more work. So the passage was easy to read. Let's look at the questions, starting with question number one. This is an accept question. Okay. All of the following constitute a point of difference between the original and modified versions of the Max Muller text expert. So everything is there available in paragraph number two. So you're looking at which are the differences between original and modified text. What are the differences? Those are the answer choice we have to eliminate. Because the question says except. Let's start with the option number one. The former was performed on a longer time span than the later. Yes, it is a difference. Which is the first one actually is a long-term one. With a lot of follow-up study. The children who waited for a second marshmallow had more success later in their life. So that's of course longer. You're not going to wait for the cuttlefish. Cuttlefish are going to have success in your career. Yeah, please wait. Please wait. No, they don't happen. The former had human subject with the latter, latter cuttlefish. This is clean elimination. This is of course mentioned. The former used verbal communication with the subject where the latter had to develop symbolic means of communication. Yes, all the squid game thing was used. Square circle thing for the second one. This is clean, which means answer choice had to be four. But what is the problem with four? The former correlated self-control and future success, which is true, which is true. Uh, we have to, I had much success. This first, first part is fine. The problem with the second part, which says, well, the latter correlated self-control with survival strategies or survival advantages. This is not mentioned anywhere. The survival ad advantages for the cuttlefish is not discussed at all. That, ladies and gentlemen, is completely alien to the passage, which obviously means we are looking at except, which means answer to that question is as a choice number four. Question number two is a question which may have, ladies and gentlemen, problem. Okay, now the given answer choice, when they first release response key, okay, that is when I'm recording this, is answer choice is number four. Okay, but there could be a, a case that can be made for answer choice number three. Answer choice number one and two can be eliminated. So this is probably a question where 
okay let's let me discuss which of the following if true which means there are new evidence that is given this is things that is if true additional things that is given which could best complement the passage finding so we're looking at the word complementing the passage finding something that can concludes or something that enhances what is given in the passage cuttlefish cannot distinguish between geometrical spaces that is true it is actually going to completely negate this whole thing because the entire experiment is based on the fact that they are able to distinguish between geometrical space shapes if they cannot distinguish then their everything is going to be random so this is definitely something that doesn't support the passage can be eliminated cuttlefish are equally fond of live grass and raw prawn this again contradicts what is given in the passage can be eliminated cuttlefish wait longer than 100 seconds for the shrimp drawer to open up now if it is true that they wait longer than 100 seconds for the shrimp drawer which is the live when you look at the shrimp drawer this is our live grass shrimp drawer that's what they wanted you can, you can actually see that there there were i think is mentioned which is here okay which is here so what happened is every round first it started with 10 seconds and uh, uh, and then the research is added under the 10 second and the 10 second added this 10 second 10 second started going to 330 second the more they waited the more they had self control therefore if this is true and the choice number 3 is true it of course supports the passage now the question is whether this information is already given there in one sense is actually not given maybe given this is an issue i would obviously say that this definitely adds or enhances the passage now you have answer choice number 4 which is the given answer choice cuttlefish live in big groups that exhibit sociability now in one sense it makes sense because what is given here is we don't know if social group is important for cognition one of the factor that we can see with self control is they have long social life now if it is true that cuttlefish lives in big groups that exhibit sociability of course that answers a lot of questions and explains sort of, sort of the issue that is there now the issue that somebody would have with answer choice number 4 is the statement that is made here which is cuttlefish on the other hand are solitary creatures solitary creatures by definition are creatures which are not social sociable now this in one sense sort of attacks that particular statement while in itself it's true it does explain this aspect self control and long social life and this one in one sense that is probably the logic in another sense it definitely contradicts what is given here so ladies and gentlemen this is probably a question which i believe at this point in time i'm going to put a question mark so the issue at, at least here with respect to this particular question is uh what does complement mean enhances completes what is given so in my book i probably would have marked i it will be very rare that i personally would have marked answer choice number 4 because i can see that something is being contradicted contradictory in the same way this is being contradictory answer choice number 3 contradicts what is mentioned in the passage doesn't explain anything if it's true now if it is true it sort of goes against what is mentioned here but it does explain certain other aspect of it so ladies and gentlemen this particular question is of course is an issue i am what are you doing what are you doing why can't you give a nice answer choice what is going on here i'm not too sure ladies and gentlemen but that's where it is i don't want to forcefully defend answer choice that i am not very sure of so i'm going to leave it at here you can obviously deep debate discuss what is the right answer choice to this particular question and i also don't know whether uh, i am will uh, uh, correct or make any changes to the response key that also i have no idea But the concept in my book, I have a doubt whether four is answer. Personally, the rest everything can be fine. Which of the following cannot be inferred from Alexandra Chenal's experiment? This is easy. The word "impossible" itself is something that is extreme. That was enough for me to pick that particular answer choice. It cannot be inferred. Intelligent in a species is impossible without sociability, which actually can can be inferred because there is th these are not social creatures. cuttlefish are not that those are they are solitary creature and they are the one who 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 have who has got self control so this is something that cannot be for the passive answer choices too others can be inferred cuttlefish exert self control with the help of diversions true the diversions is mentioned here they distract themselves cuttlefish exercise choice when it comes to food yes they do so their preliminary experiment show the cuttlefish favorite food is uh, some and this thing 
like children caterpillars are capable of self control yes of course children has got self control caterpillar has self control all these ladies and men can infer from the passage this is an easy picking question number 4 let's look at what's going here in which of the following scenario would the caterpillar's behavior demonstrate self control they will have self control because they want to eat their favorite food live grass stem please do remember their favorite food live grass stem they don't care about asian sour crab they don't care raw prawns so and so red prawns raw prawns raw prawns raw prawns so and so raw prawns are released while a live grass stem raw labeled in the square is placed in front of cuttlefish okay now this is definitely the answer now raw prawns are released they don't want they are so and so but there is a live grass label with the oh, no 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 sorry 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 with the square square come on what sit sit there i also got square 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 ladies and gentlemen is that you will never get it so it is also given ladies and gentlemen is that uh, it, it's given here where is it given where is where is it given mm-hmm. ah would you reject the raw prawns if it was a only food available now if it's a square you will never get it so the only food available is raw prawns there is no self control they're going to eat it there is no self control asian sow crab and raw prawns are simultaneously released while a live grass drawer labeled with a triangle is placed in front of a cuttlefish to be opened in one minute okay let's see now we have a triangle triangle means that it is going to be delayed so what is release we have, what is release raw prawns asian sow crab they anyway don't care but the raw prawns are these so so that's something that they can eat while the live grass stem is labeled triangle in front of the cuttle fish to be open after 1 minute after 60 seconds we know that they will wait they wait it for 130 seconds so this is where they will have self control 3 Raw prawns are released while Asian crab raw labeled with a triangle is placed in front. Of Asian sour crab, they have to wait for Asian sour crab. They don't care about Asian sour crab. So even if you give out triangle, they will say get lost. I'm going to eat the red prawn. No self control here. Live shrimp crab is released while two raw uh, uh, prawn labeled with a circle and a triangle respectively are placed. Live shrimp uh, uh, crab is released. Obviously, there's no they're going to eat it. So, so. raw prawns are are in a triangle they don't like the raw prawn so why would they have self control ladies and gentlemen answer to the question that choice number 2 so in this particular passage three three questions were straight forward i also felt that the answer choice number question number 2 also was safe for but as you know the given answer choice to this question is answer choice number 4 so many would have had issue with that particular question but otherwise this is a passage that one can nail thank you at 2021 slot one paragraph summary questions Let's look at those questions, ladies and gentlemen. So, whatever is the summary, must capture the essence of it, the red signal, the key signal of of the key idea of or, or the main point of what is mentioned here. Let's see. Foreign peacekeepers often exist in a bubble in the poor countries in which they are de- de- deployed. They live in posh compounds, drive fancy vehicles, and distance themselves from locals. this may be partially justified as they are outsiders living in constant fear performing a job that is emotionally draining but so this is a good signal ladies and gentlemen to understand where the author wants you to focus but they are often despised by locals and many would like them to leave and then the key idea is again another key signal ladies and gentlemen is a better solution so the whole purpose of this particular paragraph is to give that solution they are despised because they distance themselves what to say do they what what should they do would be bottom up peace building which would involve their spending more time working with communities understanding their grievances and earning their trust rather than only meeting government officials so the main point is right here so the better solution is to be bottom bottom up peace building which would require them spending more time with the communities understanding grievances and earning their trust so they have to spend more time with the community let's look at what each answer choice says number one peace keeping forces in foreign countries have tended to be aloof for valid reasons but so valid reason is fine they are part, partially justified for valid reason but would be more effective 
if they worked more closely with the local communities. That is exactly the point that is being made here. So it will be more effective if they work with the local communities. So spending more time with the local community, understanding their grievances. So answer choice one is a good one, almost saying, asking us to pick me. Let's look at number two. Extravagant lifestyle and aloof attitude among the foreigners working as peacemakers in poor countries have justifiably made them target of local anger. It is true, but that misses the whole point. While the problem is men being mentioned, the author has also given a solution to that problem. The solution is missing here. When you have problem solution, and what's the main point? The main point obviously has to be that solution that is missing in answer choice number two. Peacekeeping duties would be more effective performed by local residents given the better understanding. The author is not suggesting the peacekeeping duties should be done by local residents. In fact, basically saying that the peacekeeping forces should be spending more time with the community. This is not the main point. The environment in poor countries has tended to make foreign peacekeeping forces live in enclaves, but it is time to change the scenario. So this is like this is like opening and saying that, okay, let's change this. Author has merely not said that we should change. But author has specifically said to what, what they need to do, not a random station statement just to change the scenario, but actually specifically what they need to do. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, as choice would be answer choice number one, clearly. Let's look at this question. McGurk and McDonald, 1976, reported a powerful multi sensory illusion occurring with audio visual speech. So you have got a multi sensory illusion that is occurring with audio visual speech. They recorded a voice articulating constant ba 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 and dubbed it with the face articulating another constant ga ga ga. Even though the acoustic speech signal was well recognized alone, so we understand ba ba ba, we understand ga ga ga, but when they were mixed, it was heard as another constant consonant after dubbing with incongruent visual speech that is da da da. Mixed two things, something else came. The illusion term as McGurk effect has been replicated many times and it has sparked abundance of research. The reason for great impact is that this is a striking demonstration of multi-sensory integration where the auditory and visual information is merged into a unified integrated percept. So obviously the passage is talking about the McGurk effect and the fact that this is awesome. This has got a great impact. So this effect has great impact. That it is auditory visually it's merged and unified into an integrated percept. Let's see answer choice number one. The McGurk effort, which is demonstration of multi integration, has been replicated many times. That is just a detail. Mr. The whole point. This merely picks up this particular sentence here and says that it is replicated many times. But that is just one part of the story missing the essence, ladies and gentlemen. You have to capture the essence of the passage. Therefore, answer choice is not answer choice number one. Let's look at number two. Visual speech. Uh, answer choice number two. There was a noise. So I hope things were clear. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Answer choice number two. A visual speech mismatched with auditory speech can result in perception of an entirely different message. If you, if you, if you, if you visual speech mismatched with auditory speech can result in a perception of entirely different message. And this illusion is known as maker effort. Now this actually talks about what this effect is. Actually, if you think about it, the purpose of this particular paragraph, the essence of this paragraph is to help us understand what is this maker effort effect. And that is sort of captured in answer choice number two, that this visual speech and auditory speech can result in a perception that is uh, entirely different message. Ba 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 and ga 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 gives a da da da. Let's look at three. When the auditory speech signal does not match with visual speed movement, the acoust acoustic speech signal is confusing and integrated to is imperfect. So this, first of all, the effect is missing. Okay. And uh, uh, you know, the acoustic speech signal is confusing and the integration of the two is imperfect. Imperfectness is not what is mentioned. It's merely saying that you have a voice article in constant ba ba ba. Now with the face article, ga ga ga. And if you mix both of them, 
it will it will it, you can recognize the loan so if you have incoherent visual, visual speech it that creates illusion that illusion is called the mcgregor fault this one is talking about the fact that it is imperfect that is kind of a wrong word plus our hero of the story is also missing in answer choice number 3 when the quality of auditory information is poor oh, this this is enough for us to eliminate the visual information been over the what is going on answer choice lady german would be answer choice number 2 Let's look at this. Developing countries are becoming hotbeds of business innovation, in much the same way as Japan did in 1950s onwards. So, developing countries are creating innovation. They are reinventing systems of production and distribution, and experimenting with entirely new business models. They are changing. Why are the countries that were until recently associated with cheap hands now becoming leaders in innovation? Whenever there is a question, that is a great signal because author wants to answer that question. That's the purpose. What has made these developing countries to 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 what has made these developing countries to re uh, to, to to create this business innovation? Driven with a mixture of ambition and fear, they're relentlessly climbing up the value chain. emerging market champions have not only proved highly competitive they also going global themselves ambition fear that is creating value chain they have become highly competitive in global thereby creating business innovation that is as that we are looking at so we need to catch this let's see production and distribution models are going through rapid innovation worldwide as developed countries are being challenged by the earlier suppliers where is the developed country being challenged production and model are going through rapid innovation that's not the point developing countries are creating business innovation is not that production and distribution models are generally going through rapid innovation this misses the point competition has driven emerging economies once suppliers of cheap labor emerging economies i think a uh, emerging market champion so fair enough emerging economies one supplier of cheap labor one upon a time they were supplying cheap hands to become innovators of business models innovator business model that has enabled them to move up the value chain move up the value chain and go global ah oh, nice this is nice we can keep this on hold let's look at three innovations in production and distribution in helping emerging economies compete with countries to which innovation in production and uh, distribution are helping emerging countries compete with countries to which they once supplied cheap labor so first of all this has got two three problem one you know that lot of things in the in the thing is uh, is missing okay and specifically competing with uh other countries is it did not mention that they i supplied to you last time i'm going to compete with you specifically that is also not mentioned they are proved to be highly competitive in their own uh, back backyard and also going global that is what is mentioned here so it cannot be answer choice number 3 answer choice number 4 developing countries are being forced uh, the tone itself is little negative to invent new business models which challenge the old business model so they can remain competitive domestically Answer choice. Answer choice number two. Cat twenty twenty one. Slot one. Let's look at the three paragraph jumble questions. Let's start with the first question. This is the original uh, source, and this is the question. Let's look at the question. So let's start with the first sentence. In the several uh, central nervous system of other animal species. So the obviously when you see the word other animal species, this particular sentence requires something that says something about. X animal species, from X animal species, therefore other animal species. In that sense, sentence number one needs some support. Such a comprehensive regeneration of neurons has not yet been uh, proven beyond doubt. Comprehensive regeneration of neuron has not been proved. So other animal species, uh, uh, regeneration of neuron has not been proved is what sentence number one is stating. Biologists from the University of Beirut. has discovered a uniquely rapid form of regeneration so you see that there is a repetition of the idea which is the idea of regeneration and re the introduction of the word regeneration actually happens in sentence sentence number 2 because they have discovered a uniquely rapid form of regeneration in injured neurons and their function in the cellular nervous system of zebrafish now we have a 
the, the species, which is zebra fish. They studies who are these people, obviously the biologists, study the Mothner cells, which are solely responsible for the escape behavior of the fish, of the fish, obviously the zebra fish, and previously regarded as incapable of regeneration. Then you have, however, now that is the shift. Their ability, whose ability are we talking about? The fish's ability to regenerate crucially depends on the location of the injury. So actually what you see is that two, three, four is a block. Talks about the biologists in the university discovered something. They studied certain thing. However, the ability is depends on the location of the injury. What is the injury that is talking about? Injured neurons. And then the conversation then moves into other animal species. And the choice would be two, three, four, and one. That is something that you can see here, here as well. Biologists from the University of Beirut have discovered initially rapid regeneration of the zebra fish. They studies, probably studied, I think the questions that are corrected, the original source, the uh, Mothner cells, which are solely responsible for the behavior of the fish, how are their ability to regenerate crucial depends on the location of the injury in certain number system of other animal species, such as comprehensive generation neurons, has not has been proven beyond doubt. So that is the paragraph being taken. No edit being done. It was given as it is. So this could be something that one can easily do. Let's look at this question. Now, this was slightly painful as a question. This is probably a question that some of you would have struggled. Let's see. The work is more than the text. Interesting. We have got two words immediately. The work is more than the text. Sentence number one is saying work is more than the text. For the text only takes on life when it is realized and further, the realization is by no means independent of the individual disposition of the reader because the life of the text is after it is realized. So work is more than the text. That sentence number one is saying. The convergence of text and reader, this talks about convergence of text and the reader, brings a literary work into existence. And this conversion is not identified either with the reality of the text or with the individual disposition of the uh, reader. That's what sentence number two is stating. The convergence of the text and the reader. So it actually gets the literary work into existence. So we need here text only takes its life when it's realized. And this one says that the convergence of text and reader. So how is text and reader uh, brings the text plus reader, which actually brings the literary work as sentence number two. From this polarity, what polarity? So you have something that uh, a pronoun that is used, which is this polarity. So we are looking at some sentence that talks about polarity. It follows. The literary work cannot be completely identical with the text. The literary work, therefore, is not equal to the text from some polarity, but in the, uh, or with the realization of the text, but in fact must lie somewhere in halfway between the two. The literary work has two poles, two poles there you have that polarity, which we might call the artistic and the aesthetics. The artistic refers to the text creation of the author and the aesthetic realization of the reader. So now we know that 4.3 has to be a block. That's clean. We have got two poles, that polarity you have literary work is not same as text. And then that is further explained here that the work is more than the text that gets to number one and say and then gets into the convergence of text and the reader is what gets a literary work out. Four, three, one, and two. This is going to be slightly painful to look at, but if you actually look at the logical flow of idea here, so this talks about what is literary work. Literary work has got these two poles. One is we have got author, other we have got reader which is the reason why literary work is not equal to text. Then goes on to say to the first statement, the literary work is actually more than the text because the realization of the text is uh, has to take its own life. And then goes on to say that the text plus the reader actually gets out the uh, literary work in place, getting into the um, flow of idea here. This is the original uh, uh, piece. Actually, the first sentence was picked somewhere right in the middle he said, if this is so, then the literary work has two poles. They start by saying the literary work has two poles. That's where the question set are created started the first sentence, which we might call the aesthetic and artics, the aesthetic, artistic refer to the author and the aesthetic refer to the realization of the reader, which is that particular sentence. Then it moves on to say, from this polarity follows the literary work cannot be completely identical to the text and with the realization of the text, but in fact, halfway between the two, which is that particular sentence, 
then gets to the conversation. The work is more than the text. And the text only takes when you realize and the furthermore realization is through the, the description reader. And, and the next part is missing, by the way. This particular part is removed. And then the last part, which talks about the, uh, the, the fact that the, 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 the convergence of the text and the reader brings a literary work in existence. This convergence can never be pinpointed, which is actually missing there. Some edit has been done to the last sentence to create this particular sentence here. So in this particular question, the question setter actually made a little bit of edit, picked right in the middle of the conversation here. That's why probably the start may be very difficult to identify. So it, 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 is, it, is, it has got a little more context here. But when you look at the flow of idea here, you can actually see that it's moving from four, three, and then going to one and two. Let's look at this one. A popular response. So response obviously means the response to something. In the exhortation of plant more trees, people say the bottom of response to something is to plant more tea, trees. It seems all but certain that global warming will go well above the two degrees, quite how high no one knows yet. The global warming is happening. So there is a response is to plant more trees. That makes sense. Two one probably makes sense. Burning them releases it. Burning them releases it. So what is it, it referring to? What is it them referring to? Which is why the scale of forest fires in the Amazon basin last year garnered headlines. This is because trees sequester carbon by absorbing carbon dioxide. Sequester actually hides carbon. Therefore plant more trees. Why? Because it hides carbon. So it gets into two, then goes to one. Global warming happening. A response to plant more tree. Why? Because it hides carbon. But if you burn it, it releases it. it releases it. it would be carbon. Two, one, four, three. And that's taken from this. What, I, what is the source? I think. Uh, let me actually pick this one. I've never seen anything for, the, for this one. The first time I'm seeing this caravan. This is my first time looking at this as a source that the, uh, the cat has picked uh, for the for anything for cat at least from my knowledge so that you can actually see here it all seems but certain that global warming will go well beyond two degrees quiet nobody knows a popular response because it doesn't involve changing anything they point the false will so popular response i think this part is uh, removed the and picked from here exhortation of plant moti this is because pre sequestered the carbon are connected burning them released which is why the scale of four argument created like that they stopped so actually, when you look at paragraph jumble, at least a couple of them was taken without too much of an edit. Uh, with this one actually having uh, the the you are, I can actually find the starting sentence pretty easily because it says this, that it's got them a response. So it that's to start from two. And when you follow this idea, this particular one was easy to handle. So the out of the three paragraph jumble question, uh, barring one, the other two could have been uh, you could have nailed easily. Cat 2021 slot one odd sentence questions. You'll have to figure out which is the sentence or which is odd, which means let's put some sentences which will be in according to us, according to our logic, and figure out then which sentence out of the equation. The key thing is to figure out some blocks of sentences that we can pick and put it in. Let's see. There is a dark side to academic research, especially in India. And as a center, is a phenomena of predatory journals. Okay, so that talks about a dark side, and that is predatory journals. But actually, when you look at this, this sentence requires some sort of an aid. This sentence number two needs another sentence because of the word but. So this might be a good sentence to look at. Okay, but in truth, as long as you pay, you can get anything published. In look and feel, thus, Okay, this sentence also requires some sort of an aid. They're exactly like any reputed journal, but in truth, you can get anything public. In all probability, three two can this is probably going to be in because that seems to be a block. They claim what is they claim to be indexed in most uh, influential databases. Say they uh, say they possess editorial boards that comprise uh, top scientists. And researchers then claim to have rigorous peer structure review. It looks and feels thus as exactly like this. So it seems to be four can also be a part of the conversation. But actually, when you think of this, 
all these sentences require eight. The sentence that does not require eight is sentence number one. So we cannot remove sentence number one in the equation. Then we'll have a crazy sentence because every other sentence needs something. This sentence number two needs someone, sentence number three needs someone, sentence number four needs someone, sentence number five needs someone. Then one cannot be odd, so one has to be in. So now one has to be in, two is in, three is in. Out of these two, uh, it seems to be four can be, four just has to be in. Because they say that there is a dark side, predatory journal. They claim they are indexed, more into the database. Thus, they feel they're exactly predatory journal, but in reality, they are not. Look at sentence number one. But, so that is uh, contrast being uh, created using that word, but a large section of researchers and scientists across the world are at the receiving end of nothing short of academic publishing. Why are you saying but? And it's talking about researchers and scientists are at the receiving end. That can be a conversation that can come later. What sentence will come before it? Which sentence? There is no sentence that sort of connects sentence number five. Our five is out, therefore five is odd. This is taken from this magazine called Open Again. The first time I'm actually seeing this magazine used in the cat. The publication that Sita Pati let, later came to realize was a predictive journal. That is mi missing. Anyway, there's a dark side to academic research, especially in India. Center is a journal. These in imitate the experience of highly regards all the publication. They claim to be indexed in the most in database. They possess an editorial board and claim to in, in look and feel the exact but in the truth, as long as you pay, you can get anything published. So that is probably that conversation there. Edited for the original source to give you this answer choice. Ladies and gentlemen, is five. So let's this one is from economist. But since it was a paid one, so I could not, so I left it like this, okay. So you can actually probably check this source out and see what is the original paragraph. The legal status of resources mined in space remain ambiguous. So the legal status, this one says, remains ambiguous. And while the market for asteroid minerals is currently non-existent, this is likely to change uh, as technical hurdles uh, diminish. So I can talk about a future, maybe different. Currently, the market for asteroid is non-existent, likely to change. Okay. Outer space is as a commons, and, and all of it is open for explore, exploration. However, space law developed in the 1950s, 60s is state-centric and arguably ill-suited for commercial future. Now it talks about the law. There is a problem with law. Because that law is state-centric, the problem with law. Legal status, problem with the law. Laws are adopted by US and Luxembourg are first steps, first steps towards what? Okay, interesting. But they are, they only protect firms from competing claims by their compatriots. A Chinese company will not be bound by US law. So laws adopted are first steps towards a change. Critics say that US is confirming right that it has no authority to confer. Russia in particular has condemned this, citing US disruptive international law. Now this entire passage is now blaming US. Interesting. At the issue now, now the moment you have this word now, you can actually see that is a temporal sequence, time-based sequence. So we have in 1950s and 60s, it was safe-centric, ill-suited for the commercial future. And the issue now is commercial activity as private firm rather than nation states look for space for profit. So you have got state-centric, now private firms are looking to space for profit. Uh, issue now, so therefore, you know, all these cases we can look at in, which centers are in, we can probably take two and five to be in. And we can actually see the connection between one and two that uh, are the first step, but they only protect firms from competing claims from their compatriot. Therefore, the fact that the legal status remain ambiguous, we can actually see three and one having that connection. Three and one is in. You don't have to figure out what exact order is it, but all of this actually talking about the legal status of mine, mining in space. What used to happen in the 1950s, what is going to happen now, what the issue here, that the first step being taken, but it's ambiguous. So therefore, our odd sentence has to be odd sentence number four. When you look at four, what is actually four is talking about? US is conferring rights that it has no authority to confer. What rights? 
to whom are they conferring this right? Which sentence? Which which sentence can be connected? This idea of sentence number four. Nothing. Answer choice, ladies and gentlemen, would be answer choice number four.